What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Joe's Madness. If you're new to the channel and have a passion for combat sports, punch that subscribe button into submission. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp. Man, what a phenomenal main event with UFC on Fox 25 in Long Island. UFC Fight Night Long Island. We have the review for Chris Weidman, the All-American versus Kelvin Gaslam. And this one was a th war. It was scheduled for five rounds. It ended in the third round with Chris Weidman digging out of that uh, loss hole that he's had. I didn't say asshole. I said loss hole. He had three losses in a row. He ends up winning via submission with an arm triangle choke an uh, arm triangle choke to Kevin Gaslam he is the first man to defeat Calvin Gaslam via a submission victory or even a knockout or TKO Kelvin's never been knocked out or TKO'd this is his first loss by way of submission and it goes to the hands of Chris Weidman the All-American or by the hands of the All-American Chris Weidman it was a wild transition uh, takedown where it went from one position to another to another and eventually he got onto the side of him he got his head and arm and he choked him out and Kelvin hung in there for a while trying to uh, it's, you know, twist and turn, try to get out of it somehow, and he was not able to break the lock that Chris Weidman had on him, and he ended up having to tap out, or he was going to pass out to that vicious arm triangle choke by Chris Weidman. Uh, I had picked, on. I'll be honest with you, I had picked Calvin to win by KOTKO uh, in the second round, but he didn't win. I went, I believe, 9 for 3 on the night. I'll have to check the numbers, but I know I got two perfects at least. But anyways, we'll be doing a uh, post-show review here soon, uh, you know. But uh, this, it was crazy, man. Like, it's pretty intense the way he won. Like, he got rocked in the, like, Chris in the first round. He got Calvin down to the ground and was going for submissions. He was all over the place and Calvin kept getting back up and then at the very end of the first round Calvin rocked him right down the pike to the jaw, dropped him and got him with a flash knockout but uh, Chris Weidman was able to uh, get back to uh, you know consciousness and not be out cold and then it goes to the second round and then Weidman uh, kind of you know just went through him on the second round as well and I had it one round apiece I gave the first round to uh, Calvin due to that knockout knockdown uh, even though it wasn't a straight out knockout and then uh, Weidman I felt took the second round and then in the third round he put the exclamation point on it and won it but I thought it was pretty hilarious uh, you know or weird, strange, I don't know. Like, for me, I thought it was odd. For a guy who lost three fights in a row, I know he was the former champion. He's the man who defeated Anderson Silva and all that stuff and all the history of that and how he went on a tear. But then he made that mistake against Luke Rockhold and Luke Rockhold won. And then he went on a three-fight losing two fight. He lost two fights after losing the championship to Rockhold. And then he's calling out the champ, Michael Bisping, when he just got his first win at, at uh, you know, and uh, he had four. It took him four fights to get a win. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's mind-blowing that this guy is like, come on, you English bum. You're crying at home. I won. Let's fight. Let's do this. Like, dude, there's a line in front of you, uh, unfortunately. Like, I am a Weidman fan. I like Kelvin Gaston more, to be honest. You know, but I, I feel that there's quite a few dudes in front of Weidman before he even gets to a uh, title fight. Uh, as we know, Whitaker, uh, Robert Whitaker, the Reaper, he's going to be going, he should definitely be going against Michael Bisbing the count next uh, as they got to unify the titles and whatnot. And that there's, uh, you know, Shakare Souza, Yoel Romero, you know, I would like to see them in a rematch. Uh, Luke Rockhold is actually going to be fighting David Branch, which is very interesting. So there are things out there, you know, maybe, uh, Give Chris, maybe we get to see Chris Weidman and uh, Jacare Souza next in a kind of a title eliminator, possibly. You know, so let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do you think that Chris Weidman deserves to be the next uh, challenger to the champion uh, between uh, uh, Whitaker and Bisbing? Whoever wins that, should Weidman fight the, uh, the winner of that fight? Or should Weidman have to fight somebody like uh, rematch with Yoel or Jacare Souza, or should he get the winner 
of Rockhold and Branch, or should maybe Weidman fight somebody else? He is just coming off a three-fight losing streak and snapped it, and he won against Calvin Gaslam. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. Did you think that was an awesome chokehold? What did you think of the fight? Uh, you know, and so forth. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to slap that like button like a pimp. If you have not subscribed here to Joe's Madness on YouTube, punch that subscribe button into submission. Share the video with your family and friends. Thanks for watching and listening. Combat sports is awesome, and you guys are amazing.